We finally found you. On that day, my life was changed forever. So from then on, I've been living as a chosen one. Wow! This is the first I've heard of any of that! It happened a short time before I met you, Pinkun. A chosen one, huh? I wouldn't mind being chosen. Chosen to sit on my butt all day as the world passes me by. Oh, come on! I was trying to be forthcoming in everything! There's no such thing as a chosen meat, dingus! Nobody wants the Lord of the Lazy! Yeah, yeah. Well, this unchosen meat is about to head back to his neat realm in which he is Lord of the Lazy. Later. Remember, we meet tomorrow at the event space. And promise you won't be late. I never make a promise I can't keep. He's late. <sighs> hey, it wasn't my fault. My futon just loves me too much to let me go. Somehow, I believe that. You do spend a lot of time together. But I should really stop putting my faith in you. S sorry. Well, you didn't waste the entire day. The concert's nearly over, though, so let's hurry up and ask some questions. But advanced warning, there's something particularly off about the fans today. Huh? How so? They all seem so... despondent? You'll see what I mean when you talk to them. Come on, let's get investigating. Hey, did something happen? I'm not getting any murmurings from Mippity Mop! <laughs> That's it! I can't take it! I'm so worried! It's making me thirsty! Sorry, but I gotta go buy a soda pop! <laughs> not getting any murmurings? my valuation, she must have found a boyfriend. It's the only explanation. And if it's true, she'll have to retire outright. 
Hey, mind telling me what's going on? Not now! You'll have to come back later. I can't take my eyes away from this for even a single second. What was that all about? Why in the world would she have to retire? Hey, are you okay? You don't think yesterday's incident with those two fans has anything to do with all this, do you? I can't imagine it would, since today's concert went off without a hitch. That's true. The crowd went just as wild as they always do. Even the handshake event started without incident. Idols really have it tough, don't they? All it takes is one boyfriend and their career is over in the blink of an eye. Yeah, Slim's McKenzie was saying something about that, wasn't he? Hmm. The other man said something odd, too. Something about not being able to hear her murmurings anymore? Yeah, that was weird. Wait, I think I see what's going on here. You do? Saki, can I borrow your phone? Huh? Uh, sure. Time for some cyber investigation. Let's check out Mibbity Mop's Quipper account. Oh, I hadn't even thought of that. I see. Now the pieces are all falling into place. She stopped updating her Quipper, so some of her fans have speculated that she's seeing someone. Megane Taro mentioned her Quipper on that first day. He said she never misses her daily updates. This is it! This has got to be the X Factor we're looking for! She must have quipped about how anxious she was yesterday after going through the time loop. That would make all of her fans extra worried about her for sure. Up until then, her quips were probably all bubbly and happy and idol-like. But that doesn't explain Goggles. He noticed something was up day one. I think I know why. The first day the idol delusion was formed, Megane Taro was first in line to shake Ryu's hand and was overjoyed. Yeah, he said he'd never wash his hand again. You've got to be pretty happy to be that gross. But then on the second day, he was the only person to worry about Ryu after shaking her hand. Now I get it. She sent out her daily quip as usual, but couldn't hide her bewilderment when she saw him again. She probably woke up early and noticed that it was Sunday all over again. And who'd be prepared for that? If an ordinary girl were placed into extraordinary circumstances, it would be rather hard for her to hide her unease. But Mippity Mop's no ordinary girl, and she had fans anxiously waiting for her. Yep, and not wanting to let them down, she pretended not to worry about the time loop, and the event went on. Each day, she was getting more and more disturbed, and we didn't even notice. Come on, we've got to head her off at Akihabara Station. She might be taking the train home any minute now. So, just to super confirm, you really think Mippity Mop's the source of the delusion? Take a moment to ask yourself, is there any other possibility? Well, I mean, you know, there's... I don't like it any more than you do. She's so courteous and personable that it hurts to doubt her. But the facts are the facts. She has a lot to be concerned about, a lot to delude herself about. <gasps> Good to see you again. Sorry, do I know you? Ryu, you don't have to pretend. We know you remember us. You remember us seeing you off at this very station just yesterday, don't you? Yesterday? I had yesterday off, so I was at home sewing the entire day. 
Like heck you were! Yesterday you were being chased around by your obnoxious fans! N none of my fans are obnoxious! Don't be mean to them like that! Oh? So you heard that voice just now? Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Pinku! <laughs> <laughs>